Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to the latest match day preview. It is a big, big game in League 2. It's Grimsby Town versus Doncaster Rovers. Let's get the video started. Guys, welcome to the latest match day preview. Grimsby Town versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2. Always a tasty fixture and plenty of goals in recent history but we will get into that as the video goes on if you're an existing subscriber thank you so much for supporting the channel we are well on the way to 4,000 subs we've just broke 3,600 so thank you very much for that and um, beyond my expectations where the channel is going and, and how it's gone so far if you enjoy the sort of content and you are new to the channel please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content and if you are new this is the format that we go through match previews look at previous meetings between the two clubs current form across all competitions i choose a doncaster rovers player to say a few words about and then i pick one of the opponent players as the one to watch but as i always say you know your club much better than i do so if there's somebody else that needs to be involved in the conversation at that point get them in the comments down below and then we finish the video off with three predictions a predicted team lineup thanks to fanhub predictions league table that me and the family do for every league game this season and then the all-important score prediction at the very end so without further ado let's get into previous meetings Grinsby and Donny have faced off a total of 50 times across our history. Rovers coming out on top on 19 occasions. We've shared the spoils on 10 and Grinsby have won 21, so relatively close across our history. And when we drill down into the more recent five, um, Rovers just edge it with three wins and two defeats. So we have to jump back to 2019 in the League Cup and that was a 1-0 defeat away from home so hopefully that is not a repeat tomorrow uh, but over the last couple of seasons in League 2 um, we've had Grimsby's number to a certain extent with a 3-1 win away from home I'd certainly take that again tomorrow um, a 2-1 defeat at the Eco Power and then last season we did the double with a 1-0 win at the Eco Power and then a thumping 5-1 win which started us on the way to a superb run to the end of the season so hopefully we can replicate that Another 5-1 win would be absolutely phenomenal <laughs> and go on another winning run like we did last season would be very, very nice. But I think this Grimsby Town team at the minute is a very different prospect to what we saw in February 2024. And the reason I say that is if we look at the current form, Donny, not too good over the last five, two defeats, uh, two draws. One of those ended up going on to a defeat because it was the Bristol Street Motors Trophy and we got beaten by Man United under 21s on penalties. But the last time out, we did stop that little bit of a blip, that bit of a rut that we were finding ourselves in with a decent victory. Grimsby, on the other hand, coming into this one on the back of three straight wins and two defeats just before those three wins. And so having said that, Grimsby should be coming into this game very high in confidence um, off of the back of a midweek victory on the road over the league leaders Gillingham so a very very good result there a little bit of a smash and grab only had 37% possession uh, and the one solitary shot on target but I don't think any Grimsby fan will particularly care on those stats it's the stat at the top the 1-0 victory that matters the most this result followed on from good wins against Carlisle and Bromley as well so yeah they're looking in good shape um, and it's coming up to almost the quarter mark of the season and I think Grimsby fans will be happy with the start that they've made sitting just outside of the playoffs on 15 points five wins four defeats from their opening nine games um, scoring plenty but conceding a fair few as well so yeah positive start for Grimsby I think in a nutshell on to Donny it was a good response midweek after a poor showing last Saturday against Chesterfield and um, it was horrendous conditions on Tuesday night very much a leveller for both teams I think uh, but I'd say that Donny edged the game had better chances and um, created more um, Barrow had a spell in the second half that, that put us under pressure but I thought we dealt with the majority of it pretty well um, and, and came out worthy winners overall and um, I think the players were fighting for each other they were fighting for the ball they were wanting it they were they were showing for it and it was everything that Saturday was lacking a uh, really good performance midfield looked really solid um, and we kept our, clip, our first clean sheet in four attempts um, which was our third overall uh, in the league campaign so far so defensively we've not been great but maybe the setup that we had on Sat uh, on Tuesday night sorry compared to Saturday um, that could be the setup that we move forward with especially getting the clean sheet which will breathe confidence into that back line um, but all our clean sheets have come at home 
in 1-0 wins. So yeah, the away form isn't great. On to player profile. So for this one, for the Rovers, I've gone with Kyle Hurst, left winger, 22 years old. And for me, Hurst is a player who showed bags and bags of ability um, a few seasons ago when he first came in. And I think it's fair to say that he impressed a lot of Rovers fans. And I'm not alone when I think it was going to progress and develop and, and be one of our kind of main players um, off of the wings. Over the last couple of seasons, though, it just it hasn't seemed to have clicked. He's just fallen short in, in moments for me. Um, but this season, the last couple of games that he's come on, I think he has influenced the game, he's impacted the game, um, as I think Grant McCann's wanting him to, uh, especially midweek. He worked hard. He helped set up Sterry for the assist for the goal. Um, it, was a, it was a ball which was looking like it was just going to run out and he put the put the hard yards in put the effort in stopped it from going out laid it back to stereo whipped it in and, and it was one nil so the hard work was rewarded on tuesday night so hopefully that just gives him that confidence to be the player that that is is there it's clearly there he's got ability um i'd just like to see it more consistently and hopefully a run in the team would would bring that um but yeah a bit of confidence from a decent performance on Tuesday night and I really do think that he impacted the game positively and helped us on to, to win those three points on Tuesday night so I think he'll feature um, tomorrow hopefully he has a similar impact and, uh, and gets us on the way to another three points. On to the opponents one to watch so as I said at the start of the video you know your club much better than I do so if there's somebody else that should be part of this conversation get them in the comments down below but I have gone with Kieran Green 27 year old attacking midfielder and um, plenty of experience at this level uh, 261 appearances 23 goals nine assists but um, I've chosen Kieran because he's been involved with the most amount of goals for Grimsby this season with two goals three assists um, so yeah I think we need to be on him quickly prevent him from getting that space to find a pass and um, to set somebody up for, for a goal or just keep him away from uh, getting an eye for goal and uh, and taking the shot on so I think he's a decent player and um, hopefully Clifton comes back to, to haunt Grimsby we will see uh, but yeah I think the midfield's got a job on to, to keep Kieran Green quiet but if we do I think we've got a chance of coming away with something tomorrow. On to the predicted team lineup so this is thanks to FanHub if you've not downloaded the app yet please go ahead and do so plenty of features to get your teeth stuck into um, I use it mainly for the predicted team lineup and this is what I've gone with for tomorrow, Sharman low in goal. I don't think we can change that back four after getting a clean sheet. So Sterry at right back, McGrath, Oluwu as the centre back pairing, and Fleming at left back. I thought the midfield looked fantastic, uh, really strong on Tuesday night. So I've gone with the same midfield: Bailey, Kelly, and Clifton. A um, couple of changes uh, or a, a change um, on the wing with Molyneux coming back because I believe his suspension will be over, uh, and Gibson on the left with Billy Sharp up front on his own. I've not got I don't think I've got any 11 out 11s this season hopefully this one's the first one and that is the team that gets us three points or at least a point tomorrow if there's somebody else that you, you'd swap out for that get them in the comments down below on to the predictions league table so if you're new to this me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game get it spot on we get three points get the outcome of the game right but not the scoreline it's one point get it completely wrong it's no points and we all went with wins apart from my dad who stick, stuck with a draw on Tuesday night so he stays bottom on no points but it's only one point added for each of us because none of us went with a 1-0. I went with 3-1, Max went with 3-2 and Chris went with 2-0 so the table remains the same but Max is on 7 points, Chris is on 5, I'm on 3, dad yet to get off the mark. It may happen in this game though, who knows. And that takes me on to my score prediction and I think it's going to be a very very tough game but we've had some joy at Grimsby in the last couple of seasons and I'm hoping that that continues. I'm hoping that the result on Tuesday gives us a bit of confidence going into this one as well. Um, there will be a moment where it clicks for Donny, I do believe that and goals will become much more freely scored. Um, if it's going to be tomorrow that's a different question and we'll only really find the answer out at five o'clock tomorrow but I think it will. I am going confident with this one um, although Grimsby should be very confident coming into this I think Donny should have enough to get by them 
I'm hoping that it's an entertaining fixture like it has been over the last couple of seasons. I'm going Grimsby 1, Doncaster Rovers 3. We will see if that one's right. Like I say, come 5 o'clock tomorrow. Let me know your score predictions in the comments down below. But that is where I'm going to leave this one. So yeah, big thumbs up if you have enjoyed this one. Get your comments in down below for score prediction lineup and everything else. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.